In Hong Kong, recently, we have seen that people have organized a movement with the spirit of "Be Water." This idea from Bruce Lee is a very Taoist philosophy. This Taoist philosophy says, instead of holding on, the power to collect and redistribute, a activist need to make instead. What we call network-making power. For example, any occupier can share what strategy have worked with everybody else, and on cyberspace, this enabled co-creations such as the song "May the Glory Be to Hong Kong." This song has been remixed in various different ways by any activist that feel that they want to reach a different set of audience. And this is what we call mimetic engineering. If an idea only appeals to part of the society, naturally it leads to exclusionary populism, treating us as people and the others as non-people. However, through open innovation, any one of those non-others people can make sure that these others people can also be included into this mimetic remixing. By allowing for bridges that remix those messages into various interpretations, various languages, and various cultures, it's only through viewing the culture that you're bringing up that you can also see the culture that brought other people up. And only when you can look at your own upbringing from the culture of the others can you truly achieve transculturalism. And transculturalism, indeed. Is the essence of the digital culture. The inter in the internet connects various operators, various networks. If I share something with you on a social media, it's likely that it's three different jurisdictions and three different cultures. And so, in cyberspace, we privilege the idea of norm making, and the law always trails behind the norms, but they keep a same distance. So that the norms can shape the societal expectations, and the law, as the compilation of those norms, can follow behind. And this is the idea of social innovation and civic participation.